Hi guys, this is Zakia of Inkstruck Studio and today I'm going to show you how you can create beautiful blog headers using the watercolor washes that I've uh, provided for free in this blog post. In case you're, you're accessing this video from YouTube, you can download these washes for free. Um, I'll be putting the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Um, I've already opened one file which consists of um, a watercolor wash in Adobe Photoshop. The next thing I'm going to do is open a new file which consists of the dimensions of my blog header. And then I'm going to type in my blog name and then I'm going to center it. Um, so basically we need to drag this watercolor wash using the move, move tool to this new file uh, and then we need to resize the wash according to what the dimensions are. So once I've done that, I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to use the Create Clipping Mask option to merge uh, the font layer with my wash layer in such a way that the wash forms part of the font. So for that, uh, you need to make sure that your watercolor wash is on top of the font layer and uh, then you need to go to layer option and then hit the create clipping mask option so what this basically does is that it forms uh, this wash forms a part of your font now you can resize it according to the effect that you like once you're happy you can just click enter and then you can use this as a blog header as it is the next method is really simple uh, we're going to use the watercolor wash layer just as a background for your uh, blog name. So the steps are similar. Um, all you need to do is open a new file with the dimensions of your blog header. Next, type in the name of your blog just like you did previously. Center it. And then drag the wash layer and resize it according to the dimensions. Now what we need to do is we need to drag the layer, the wash layer beneath the font layer so then we just need to pull this down and you can see that the, the font layer is on top of the wash layer. Now you can change the color of your font, um, you can adjust the size of your wash, uh, you can just stretch it out or make it smaller. Um, just play around until uh, you're happy with it. You can also reduce the opacity of uh, the wash in case you need to use a darker font um, such as grey or black and just play around until you're happy with it um, you can also change the hue and saturation by going over to the adjustments panel here and clicking on hue and saturation and just drag the cursor uh, to your left and right to uh, to get uh, the color that you desire um, and that's it that's how you create um, beautiful blog headers using these washes in two different ways I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them um, thank you for watching um, have a nice day